Now, how many times have you guys gone to use a Bluetooth device only to realize it's dead? Again, that Bluetooth keyboard might as well be wired, but at least you can still use it while charging, unlike my Sennheiser headphones. Great quality, but I'm pretty sure there's a battery leak. Now I know most of our Windows 11 PCs can already track our Bluetooth battery levels right within the Bluetooth section itself, but what if we wanted something that was actually a bit more stylish, or even more something that's actually useful, where with a single glance we can tell all of the different battery levels of all of our devices at once? Well, that's exactly what I bring you today, two alternative apps to help you stay on top of your battery level and look good at the same time. And as always, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own epic live wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Now here, I'm going to show you two different applications to achieve a very similar result. Adding a battery indicator to your icon train, allowing us to easily track how much battery is left on each one of our Bluetooth devices. Now having said that, sadly from my testings, these don't seem to work with USB Bluetooth dongle devices such as my Logitech Lightspeed mouse, but it does work with devices that are directly connected to the computer through Bluetooth such as my keyboard, headphones, controller and even this anchor speaker. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now first up, straight from the Microsoft Store, we have the promptly named Bluetooth Battery Level. It's a super simple lightweight app which is paid, but you can try it totally for free. At just 79 pence, it's definitely well priced for something so simple. It automatically populates with all of your Bluetooth devices, so setup is a cinch. And for each one of your devices within your icon train, you can add in a custom itsy bitsy battery icon. So now literally at a glance, you know exactly how much battery you got left. And of course, you can take things even further and customize its color when you receive a battery load notification and switching up the app icon within the Bluetooth device area itself. Yeah, option wise, there's not much. It's definitely a bare bones app, but it gets the job done. And you can have it auto start with Windows as well. Force English? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Oh, and as a quick note here, just make sure you don't press this cross button right here. It will close the entire app. But yeah, I know. It's a little bit annoying, but to close this tab, just click somewhere else. Now as a quick side note, I'm sure you guys can all agree, this is an awesome live wallpaper. Straight from Naruto is the copy ninja himself Kakashi. This one comes straight from Wallpaper Engine. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can grab it up yourselves. And as for the rest of you, if you don't have Wallpaper Engine set up already, check out this video in the top right corner to help you guys get started. Now the second alternative app that you guys can try out is called Bluetooth Battery Monitor. Now this one isn't available on the Microsoft Store, but you can grab it directly from the company's website which I'll link down in the video description below. Now this one does feel a bit more, let's say retro, but it works near enough the same as the first app, giving you a quick access space to show all of the battery levels of your Bluetooth devices in a much more bold and clearer fashion. But sadly, it doesn't allow us to add each of these items as individual batteries within our dock like the first app did. So it's definitely inferior for sure, but it's still going to be useful for those of you running older versions of Windows. Now it does have a slightly bit more customization options for that singular battery icon that's in the tray. So you can change the look as well as the battery indicating colors of the icon itself. But just keep in mind, sadly, this is again a paid app, which is definitely more expensive than the first, but at least the trial does last longer. So why not check out both the softwares, especially because they're free to try. And let me know in the comment section below which of the two you prefer. And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.